What is an information system? A computer information system is a system composed of people and computers that processes or interprets information. To process or interpret information, we need to be able to store it, to access it, and to modify it. These operations are the core of database management systems, or DBMS. A DBMS is generally referred to as a service, by a position with a normal program. A service is a special type of program that is continuously running on the computer as a background process. It generally responds to events generated by other programs, while normal programs respond to user interaction. Typical services include DBMS like MySQL, but also web servers like Apache, synchronization tools like Dropbox, or the Windows Task Manager. There are many services running at any given time on a regular computer, and we usually don't need to worry about them, unless we are trying to create an information system. A very commonly used database system is MySQL and its open source successor MariaDB. On Windows systems, it can be easily installed as part of the XAMPP bundle, which also includes web servers, which we will use later. Let's, let's use XAMPP to start the database service. In the control panel, we can click on the start button and we see that MySQL is running and has been assigned a port on which it is listening for requests. But what's really happening when we click on Start? The button executes the MySQL Start batch file. If we look within that file, we can see that it in turn executes the MySQLD executable file with the my.ini configuration file. In the MySQL binaries folder, we can see both the executable and the configuration file. configuration file contains the port as well as many parameters which we don't need to worry about unless something goes wrong. There is also in this folder a MySQL executable. This is not the MySQL service, it's a program that we can use to communicate with the service. If we open a command line terminal in this directory, we can start the program by typing in mysql.exe and connect to the database. Here we can see that the server currently running is a MariaDB server. Note that we can also just type MySQL without the extension for the same results. Also note that we didn't give any username or password at the moment. In fact, we connected to the database as an anonymous user, which should never be allowed in a real world system. If we use the show database command, however, we only see two databases which are completely unprotected. If instead we reconnect as the root superuser, we can see that there are many more databases that we couldn't previously see. Managing this access control is a big part of building a secure system, but that will be for another time.